Well, good evening. It's 10 o'clock. Time to bring this day and put it to bed. And then put ourselves to bed also. Let's come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a moment of silence as we reflect on all that this day has been for us. And we say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread under foot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness, that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they're created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light and they will reign for ever and ever. 
Revelation 22 verses 4 and 5. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, Alleluia, as he promised to you, Alleluia, Alleluia. Father God, we give you thanks for this day, now coming to its close, for this day and all that it has been. Father God, we Thank you that we broke bread, we sung your praise, even if we couldn't with our lips, that we gave thanks for your great mercies and that we had the opportunity to bring before you those for whom we watch and pray. Father God, as we prepare to go to our beds this night, Father, we thank you for all this day has been. And as we prepare for bed, we look to the new day, to the new week and the opportunities it brings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, if we bring to you the sadnesses of the day for the newborn found in the Grand Union Canal in West London, in Park Royal, in a part we know so well. Father, we pray for this child, trusting it into your grace, love, care and mercy, knowing not whether it's a girl or a boy. And we pray for a mother somewhere who has given birth and perhaps in fear has panicked and left the child. We don't know what's happening. All we know is, Lord, that for this to have happened, that's a sad, terrible moment. So we pray for the mother. We pray for the repose of the child and for all involved in this. And there's the death toll for the children, for the school children who were killed when an explosion happened outside their school. Over 60, mostly girls, now known to have died. Father, we pray for the children who have died, for the families who grieve. And Lord, we pray that the acts of wicked people would be stilled and would cease. And as we think of Afghan, Father, we pray for the situation, all that is happening in the Middle East at this time, all that is happening with Palestinians and the Israeli police, as more clashes are going now as we pray here, more clashes are occurring. 
and the violence is generating more violence. Lord, we pray for justice and for just acts from the people of Israel. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and that both sides would dialogue and that where wickedness and cruelty is found, it would cease. Father God, we pray also for the situation in Chad, having lost the president through a clash with the rebels, conflicts continue. And as the military claim victory against the rebels, that can only mean more deaths. So we pray for all that is happening in Chad. All that is happening in Ethiopia with Tigray and the genocide there. We pray for India and Covid and that the Indian variant being found in South Africa causes more concern. Father, in every place where there are troubles, where there are issues, where there are needs, we bring them before you now and we lay each place, each situation, each care and concern at the foot of the cross, asking, Lord, that you would take care, that you would be God in the lives of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we pray for our loved ones this night. We pray for those who are on our hearts and minds, who struggle, who are broken, who are terminal. And we thank you that Maureen Williams is home. And we pray for your hand to be on her and her family at this time. We pray for our loved ones, young and old, for all that is on our hearts this night for the issues, the matters, the circumstances and the afflictions that challenge us. Father God, in the place we find ourselves as we gather now, lift to you the people on our hearts and minds. As we pray for others, we pray for ourselves. For you call us by name. You know our needs. You know our challenges. You know our afflictions. Bring us healing and wholeness by the blood of your Son and the power of your Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may rise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. So thank you for being with us as we go to our beds. May you have rest. May you have peace, sweet dreams and wake, rested, relaxed and ready for a new day and a new week of blessing and challenge. Sleep well, guys. Good night.